What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm making some peanut butter potato candy, better known as old-fashioned potato candy. So these candies used to be a hit back in the day and I love them. I make them every once in a while. So basically what you're going to need is some measuring cups. You're going to need one fourth and one third. You might need these. I love to have them around just in case. You're going to need some salt. You're going to need some peanut butter. You're going to need some vanilla. And you're going to need some instant mashed potatoes. And you're also going to need some confectioner sugar. So let me show you guys how to do it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is combine the mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes are what we're going to reach down in and get one fourth cup of. Just a little bit more because it didn't seem like I measured up to where I should. We want to, because it's in the refrigerator, we need to cup it up. All right, so you need milk. You guys are going to want to get two tablespoons of milk, and that's exactly where. They come into play. All we need is two tablespoons. Okay, and then we're going to want to get the vanilla extract. The vanilla extract is one teaspoon. There we have it. There we go. Got milk on my pants. Oh, okay, and then you're gonna want. <laughs> I know you guys seen that, right? I know you guys. Uh, so you're gonna want to put salt um, in here. So we need one pinch of salt. If I can grab a pinch of salt, considering the fact that it's all the way down in. And so next, what we need to do is basically stir these ingredients. Let's do it. Okay, so we also need to combine the 16 ounces of the confectioner sugar. So I'm gonna measure it up to the 16 ounces. Almost there. So right now I'm roughly at 12 ounces and I need to get up to the 16. All right, I think one more good and we are at the 16 mark. So I'm gonna pour it in and I am going to stir the confection sugar into the potato mixture until the consistency is reached. All right, so I finally got it into a consistency that I would like. And so I am gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it chill for up to an hour. And then we're gonna... All right, so it's been in the refrigerator for over an hour. Here's the finished product. Looks really, really good. Really hard at that. <laughs> but it turned out better than I have ever made it before. So we want some wax paper. All right. All 
right. And then we need our powdered sugar. And we just want to basically sprinkle some, a little bit of everywhere on this wax paper. Okay. And so we want to roll the dough into a large rectangular shape on a prepared surface. So it's a flat surface right here. So we want to, and I can't even, I can't even really roll it just yet. Okay, there we go. Just gotta give it a little love here. <laughs> Okay, so I finally was able to get it very flat without breaking, and so I just applied a little bit of the confectioner sugar on top. Now we're going to spread the peanut butter, and I need a knife. Here we go. I'm going to use this plastic knife, and so I'm just going to evenly spread some peanut butter if I can... Um, Get it out all out first. Alright, so I have about that much left. So I asked for one third cup. This little bit that was in there definitely is enough for one third cup. Um, so therefore I'm just scooping it all out of the container into different spots. You know you have to take a break from the iPad for um, two hours today, like you do, like you did yesterday. I have to do that all every the day. Time. You, you, it's summertime. I understand that, but we cannot. Um, I cannot let you guys just sit on the tablet and game all day long, because it's not helping you learn anything. So during the daytime, it would be nice. To get you guys off of the tablets and the game for two hours but once once i'm all right guys this is the part where you're going to want to roll it so we want to lift it up and kind of roll it at the same time because it is trying its best to stick to the wax paper so what i am just going to do is kind of go along with it and roll So you might have to guide your, your sheet into the direction that you would like to go. And so I think it's best to turn it this way towards me. That way I am encouraging it to roll.
You might have to pick it up and, and roll too. All right, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a extra piece of wax paper ready for the actual roll when it is done. Okay. And this is definitely making a complete and utter mess onto the table because I'm having to roll back the paper. Okay. So now we're gonna pick it up, put it on our spare piece. This is now trash. And now, now we're gonna put it, now we're gonna put it on a flat pan. So we have our pan. I'm just going to lift it up and I'm going to move it over. All right. So this is going to go into the refrigerator for another hour to basically be chilled off. I'm going to put some confectioner sugar on top just so that even though there's there's pieces that are breaking apart but that middle is very strong the ends are not and when it comes out you're going to cut the ends and you can still eat that or you can choose to not so here it is 